What's up guys, Justin here of Yugatech. And as time goes by, smartphone prices soar high continuously. And this only shows that the most innovative technologies come with a golden price tag. So we've scoured the most expensive smartphones sold and released in the Philippines for the past decade, and here's what we found. Now brace your wallets as it's about to get more and more expensive. The cheapest you'll get on this list is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G that was unveiled last February. To justify its 69,990 pesos price for the 12GB of RAM and 128GB variant, it features a large 6.9-inch Infinity-O dynamic AMOLED display with a maximum refresh rate of 120Hz for seamless scrolling. It is 5G ready, has expandable storage of up to 1TB, and up to 8K video recording at 30 frames per second. But what makes this phone really interesting is its capability to take shots of up to 100 times space zoom. Next is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This phablet from Samsung features a 6.8-inch dynamic AMOLED Infinity-O display. It also packs AKG stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos, Ultra HD 4K recording, HDR10 Plus support, 3D scanner that gives a full 360-degree 3D model of the object of your choice, and new functionalities for the S Pen. The Note 10 Plus's highest configuration includes 12GB of RAM plus 512GB of internal storage, and it's available for a hefty price of 72900 990 pesos. Third on our list is the quirky Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, also known as the Galaxy Blossom that was unveiled together with the Samsung S20 series. For 79,990 pesos, the Z Flip boasts a compact clamshell form factor. It has the same Infinity Flex display and 8GB of RAM from the larger Galaxy Fold, and backing this device is a 7nm octa-core processor, 256GB of internal storage, and a 3,300mAh battery. More from Samsung Samsung, number 4 is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Packed with practical features, this 2019 flagship has a 6.3-inch dynamic AMOLED Infinity-O display with internals such as the Samsung Exynos 9820 chip, 12GB of RAM, and 1TB internal storage. It was also the first Samsung phone to boast a triple camera setup consisting of a 16MP ultra-wide lens, a 12MP 77-degree wide, and a 12MP 45-degree telephoto lens. Release in February 2019, its 1TB variant costs 89,990 pesos. Alright, next is the iPhone 11 Pro that is currently priced at 89,990 pesos as well. Everyone knows that the iPhone 11 Pro is a downgrade version of Apple's latest flagship smartphone. But if you look at it closely, it doesn't show much difference in terms of hardware. It bears the same A13 Bionic chip, rear triple cameras, deep fusion technology, and 18 watt wired fast charging. It shares the same special functions of the iPhone 11 Pro Max like the IP68 rating, dual SIM capabilities and the same internal memory configurations up to 512 gigabytes. The notable difference compared to the Pro Max version is that this has a smaller 5.8 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display, lowering the resolution slightly at 2436 by 1125. Now sporting a larger screen, next is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. For 95,990 pesos, this iPhone 11 Pro personifies the Max on its name by offering more storage options of up to 512 gigabytes, Apple's A13 Bionic chip, spatial audio, 18 watt wired fast charging and wireless charging, enhanced cameras, and that sculpted glass and stainless steel on its back. Revving it up is the Porsche design Huawei Mate 20 RS. As its name suggests, this smartphone is a result of a collaboration between the Chinese tech giant Huawei and the German sports car brand Porsche. This beefed up version of the Mate 20 Pro sports an all-natural leather back panel gracing the Porsche logo and silver and triple Leica rear camera setup. Underneath its solid build is a Kirin 980 chipset, 8GB of RAM, and 256GB of internal storage. It debuted globally in 2018 but arrived officially in the Philippine shores last February 2019 and is priced at a whopping 99,990 pesos. Unfolding on the 8th spot is the Samsung Galaxy Fold. 
Samsung's first attempt in exploring the world of foldable smartphones has set the standards in the said niche segment. It has a 7.3-inch main AMOLED Infinity Flex display and a 4.6-inch HD Plus Super AMOLED cover display. On board is a 5G-capable Snapdragon 855 processor paired with 12GB of RAM and 512GB of internal storage. Keeping this phone running is a combination of a 2,135mAh battery plus a 2,245mAh our dual battery which supports QC 2.0 wired fast charging and reverse wireless charging. Right now, it's exclusively offered by major telcos in the country through postpaid plans for 109,990 pesos. Another fancy foldable phone is the Huawei Mate XS 5G. It's got a unique folding styles with an 8-inch outwards folding AMOLED display when unfolded and two equally astonishing screens, a 6.6-inch main screen and a 6.38-inch secondary when folded. Among other remarkable features includes Super Sensing Leica Quad Camera Setup, 4,500mAh battery with 55 watts wire charging, and a Flying Fish Fin Cooling System. It was shipped in the Philippines last April with an eye-popping price tag of 139,999 pesos. That's for the 8GB of RAM and 512GB of variant. And finally, last but definitely not the least, is the Virtu Constellation. Known for its bling blings that go ring ring, the British luxury phone brand Virtu brought its Android Jelly Bean based phone worth 297,000 pesos back in December 2013. It didn't have an astonishing engine configuration compared to today's smartphones with its 1.7 GHz dual core processor with 1 GB of RAM and non expandable 32 GB of internal storage. But it did make an impression for the premium materials that make up its body. I'm talking about a grade 5 titanium chassis, a sheet of 100 carat sapphire crystal laid on top of the phone's front panel, a set of buttons made of ruby, and a calfskin covered back panel. According to previous reports, its display is said to be scratchable only by diamond. Now that's a phone made for the filthy rich. So that sums up the most pricey smartphones ever released in the Philippines. Now the question is, would you buy any phone in this list? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin and you know the drill, don't forget to wash your hands and stay at home.